renovating it can be a nightmare but not for Cherie Barber and Stephen Tolley they're a pair of renovation gurus who love getting their hands dirty as Michelle Tapper explains home renovations have made the couple a fortune and they say anyone can do it we bought this one for 500,000 we spent one month renovating it we sold it for 900,000 and made a profit of 372,000 we bought this house for two and a half million dollars we sold it to a overseas investor for the full purchase price that we paid for it. It's a double sized block which we're going to subdivide. It means we've actually got the land for free. The land alone here is worth one to one point two million dollars. They're young and rich, a new breed of self-made millionaires cashing in on the property boom. We're only into the tenth month of this year. Um, we've pretty much made almost a million dollars profit now. That's only October. Debt is their weapon and banks are their allies. We owe the banks millions, but that doesn't worry us in the slightest. Uh, we actually have a bit of a theory, the more debt the better. We love the banks. Uh, we've made all our money from using their money. Fantastic location, bird's eye view to the Harbour Bridge. And in just 10 months, 32-year-old Cherie Barber and 29-year-old Stephen Tully have become millionaires through buying and selling houses. We're quite shocked how fast that came towards us, how, much, how easy it was. Um, I guess we're still absorbing that, uh, but as long as it keeps going, we're just going to ride the wave. Cherie, a former national marketing manager for L'Oreal, and Stephen, a mortgage broker, both chucked in their six-figure salary jobs earlier this year. Once we realised that we were earning more money on weekends than we were from our full-time jobs, that's when we decided to make the commitment to be, do renovating full-time and property training. It was actually something that I didn't have to give too much thought to, actually. It was actually a relief throwing in my full-time job because it was quite a high-stress, high-pressure role. Now their 60-hour work week has been cut in half and their salaries have increased tenfold. We bought this for half a million. We sold it eight hours later for a $40,000 profit and we did absolutely nothing to it. It was just a paper shuffle. They do meticulous research. Uh, I see them just about every weekend at nearly every open house that we have. Real estate agent Nicole Graham says many people are making big bucks in property trading. I think most people can buy and sell real estate and make money whether they renovate or not, just buying in the right place at the right time and doing enough research. And the key to Stephen and Cherie's quick success is buying run-down houses, renovating them and reselling them. Well, this place has got huge potential. It's pretty run-down now. I've got a bit of cement render on the walls, polish, sand back floors and polish them. It'll come up good as new. So far this year, they've bought, renovated and sold six homes. So what do you like about this place? Oh, we love it. This is a renovator's dream. You don't come across many houses like this. It's so decrepit. It's fantastic. I've got to be honest with you, this place is a dump. It looks like a squatter house. This house has huge potential to get immediate capital gains. And how much are you willing to pay? We'll bid up to about 900000 for this property. Almost a million dollars for this rundown place. Mm -hmm. Can't believe it. And if you're having a hard time picturing a dream home, take a look at the couple's before and after shots. They bought this Roselle home for $537,000, spent $150,000 on a complete overhaul and sold it for almost a million, pocketing a whopping $268,000. If you've actually got a building that's totally unlivable, you can go in there, work your magic, and that's where you actually make the profit. Whereas if you buy a house that's already renovated, it's very difficult to put actually an immediate capital gain on it. So, if you think you've got what it takes to be a property trader, Stephen and Cherie suggest focusing on no more than three suburbs. Research and know the prices of your target area and make a plan for renovations and costs. If you always select areas that are high demand areas and look for areas that are actually have established lifestyle centres, then you can never really go wrong. Many people are worried that the real estate market is about to bust. Are you concerned at all? Not at all. What about if interest rates go up? You factor it into your equations when you're, when you're renovating a house or when you're buying any sort of property or doing any sort of property deal. You've got to know what your costs are and we always work on conservative costs. And so far it's been worth it. The risks and hard work have more than paid off. Our hours are very flexible and our, our lives are very spontaneous I guess. We can do whatever we like.
certainly done well, and good luck to them. Michelle Tapper reporting there. And if you'd like more details of that story, you can go to our website at todaytonight.com.au. And at that site, you can also leave your story ideas, whatever they are. We'd love to hear from you. And I'll be back with more after this short break.